Hey everybody, welcome to Buzzworthy Business, brought to you by Seaside Bank and Trust. I'm your host, Jesse Stakes, and today I have Jesse Lane from J Lane Construction. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, this is a pleasure. So for the for our audience members that don't have the benefit of knowing what you guys do, tell us about your business. Yeah, so J Lane Construction is a commercial general contractor in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, we do a ton of commercial projects, whether it be banks or ox- oxygen bottling facilities or auto dealerships or animal clinics or dessert shops or whatever it may be. We're building a brewery right now. We also do a lot of multifamily. Huge though. demand for it right Huge now. Huge demand, yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you guys have been innovating your project management and how you've been making things better for your customers? Yeah, so it's a great question. We use uh, Builder Trend, you know, online project management software, you know, as well as even just as simple as Google Drive. Yes. You know, we're very Google oriented and other communication tools on top of that and and systems that I've built. Um, just I, I've built. I spent a lot of my evenings building on this internal website mm-hmm. that, that hosts um, every single thing down to what the superintendent should do, what the project manager should do, what the accountant should do, all these, you know, AP, AR, everything within the company. And I've now even built a, a whole um, section on, on permitting and how to handle it in this new environment and, and all the things that we're, you know, dealing with yes. um, and, and how to talk to clients and the culture of the company. And so, but it's really important when it comes down to managing a team because sometimes it's it is it's hard to kind of manage everything, especially as an owner, right? There's think of it this way: there's plumbers, there's electricians, there's framers, yes, and and those might be business owners, mm-hmm. right? So the electrician is a business owner, and that's a lot to manage, right? You have to know every you know thing of Romex every. 120 volt, 220, all the electrical stuff and then plumbing stuff and frame stuff. Everything you said, I have no idea what it is. Yeah. (laughs) Well, the electrician hopefully does. Yes. (laughs) But if you think about it, a general contractor has to understand all trades. Right. And so it's this interesting kind of dynamic of a second tier out of three that I'm going to tell you of the general contractor, let alone myself, being a business owner Mm -hmm. and a general contractor, you have to be the entrepreneur. You have to you have to know everything that's happening on every job. You have to know every wire and outlet and plum, plumbing pipe. And so it's it's really a lot to manage. So it it does come down to a good team. And I've really have learned a lot in the even in the near the near past and going into the future of like really plugging in the right people. No question. Well, and part of the like the unintended positive consequence of what's happened in the last Mm. couple of years when we talk about things like Google Drive and when you talk about some of these uh, efficiency tools, Mm -hmm. they're not necessarily tools that plumbers and electrical contractors and Mm. even GCs used all the time prior to this kind of forced hands-off approach yep, to the Zoom, way we had to touch touch each other. Video now. calls. Yes. You know, you name it. I mean, all kinds of th- I mean, even there's just so much coming in the world like NFTs and like how we're going to use that in real estate and construction and contracting. And there's so many advancements with technology that are, that are happening and going to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, even the metaverse kind of thing. I mean, it's it's absolutely insane what's happening with social media. Now, if you tell me that you're a GC in the metaverse, we're gonna, <laughs> we, that's a whole nother show. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. No, not yet. So so tell me a little bit about some of the projects that you're seeing right now or that you guys are involved in in Jacksonville. What's what's coming? What can people look forward to coming yeah. Coming around here? A lot of exciting stuff. Multifamily. Yes. Um, we're doing a lot of ground up stuff. We just brought up an airplane hangar for the Fernandina Beach Airport. Nice. We're doing a brewery in Yuli. We're doing an animal clinic. We just wrapped up an animal clinic for a repeat client that they go across the whole country and they're like, Jay Lane's amazing. And uh, so just all kinds of stuff like that. We just wrapped up a dessert shop. And um, just anything commercial, oxygen bottling facilities and a trucking facility and an auto dealership. It's crazy. I mean, we just have so much growth happening in our mm-hmm. market. It's and it's lot. and I think sometimes, you know, people realize that they drive down the street and all of a sudden they're like, hey, these streets are a little busier. And they start pointing at buildings that are popping up. I haven't seen that. You know, that's mm-hmm. new. That's new. And it's, I feel like when I, w- I went to Fernandina for the first time in, mm-hmm. in, in a, probably six months and, and it looked like a totally different place. So yeah. it's. You know, it's a lot of growth. Un- unintended consequences of something that was negative in our world, but has positively impacted the growth of this area. I've been the number one fastest growing business um, th- the last bunch of years. And this year, uh, we haven't plugged it, all the numbers in yet, but absolutely way beyond even the prior years. No doubt. I think you guys were yeah. 38 out of 1,000 of the fastest growing businesses yeah, in the United so we are, States. Yeah, and we were number one for 
for Jacksonville. That's amazing. We're above JWB, above, you know. And so it really took, it's taking a lot of mental and emotional and spiritual and physical, you know, focus <laughs> to, to hold it together. I mean, when mm. you grow from my first year doing a quarter million dollars and then you go, blah, blah, now we're doing 15 million, you know, and, and, and who knows, uh, this 2022, we could be doing 30, 40 million, you know, depending on sales. Sure. So. Well, and I, you guys have a lot going on. If people want to learn more about J Lane Construction, where can they find you guys? Yeah, the website is jlaneconstruction.com. Excellent. And obviously, you can check me out on YouTube, Jesse Lane, and Instagram, Jesse Lane TV. Very good. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us it's today. It's a pleasure. Yeah. If you guys would like to learn more about us here at Buzz TV and J Lane Construction, you can join us at jacksonvillebuzz.com. I'm your host, Jesse Stakes, and we'll catch you guys next time.